Assalamu alaikum this is Imran and welcome to my channel Stitch with me I hope everyone is doing great since we are already working on our plastic canvas so with the help of the same canvas we are going to make a very interesting and a very beautiful keychain so for that I have these materials with me I have taken this yarn pieces and uh, the metallic rings and further we need a crafting scissor for that and the tapestry size 16 needles so that we can stitch the design okay out of my plastic canvas i have taken this cutting you can see the dimensions we will start stitching the design and also we have to fill the bridge and then later we are going to attach it like this with the help of our different stitches so let's start with the pink color first i'm going to stitch a heart in the center of the keychain and I will be first stitching the heart and then later we will fill the rest of the patterns. From the bottom I am leaving three lines and right in the middle of the I am going to take my first stitch and then will in the first row I will take only one stitch and uh, for from the back side I am securing my thread and then will continue with the stitches. This is the very first stitch I have taken taking an X shape coming all over back and now moving to the next row in the next row I'll be taking three same stitches but first of all I will be taking three diagonal stitches and then we'll be coming back to complete the remaining Okay, in this row I will again increase one stitch on both sides each just to make the heart shaped effect. Now next line I will not increase the stitch and will continue with the same number of stitches once more time. So the required uh, height is achieved. Now it's time to reduce the stitches. So on each side I am taking two stitches and leaving the middle one unstitched. So here I'm done with the one side and the same way I'll be completing the other side of this uh, keychain and then we'll start stitching with the background color that will be black color. So let's take the black color.
so the background color is now stitched and uh, before uh, attaching them together what we'll be doing we'll be just putting the ring inside first Yes, just a slight bend and it's good to go. Now it's time to stitch uh, these both sides together. Before that, I'm uh, tucking it all the extra threads inside uh, just to give it a neat and a beautiful finish. For the border, I'll be using the pink color again and uh, with the help of the whip stitch. Whip stitch will help these both sides to join all together. We just have to pass the needle with the both of the uh, holes all together in the same time and see how I'm securing my thread I'm just uh, tucking it inside because inside it's not visible we are going to attach these both sides together and taking one by one we are continuing with our whip stitch and uh, since the yarn is not that thicker what I'll be doing I'll be just taking two times from each of the holes because uh, otherwise it's uh, the white background is going to be visible and that will not look good it will not give a beautiful finish to the keychain. So I'm right on one side's edge and I'm trying to secure the white part as much as I can and then after that I will be just passing my needle under this ring and take to the other side nicely. Now I'm done with this whip stitch from all sides and uh, it's time to cut the thread now. So nicely securing my thread under a few stitches and passing the needle and then cutting the thread right from the edge. So my craft is just done and uh, here is the final look. I hope you like this tutorial and you will found this helpful. And uh, for further videos, please stay connected with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take very good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.